Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. It's the freaking weekend. Like I'm so excited. I got off work early. The sun is still out, which is awesome. Pepper decided he wanted to say hey to you want to come here i have about an hour of the audiobook left of i let you go i'm not gonna lie i still really hate it the twist if you could even call it that i thought was just me misunderstanding what had happened previously like it didn't feel like a good convincing plot twist if that makes sense and you want to come here and I don't know, I just, I'm not really, I just don't like it. I don't think this is a book for me personally. And uh, it's sad because it seems like so many people like this. And this is one of those books that I don't understand the hype. A lot of the time, even if I don't like a book, I can understand why other people do. This one, I just like don't understand like at all. I don't get it at all. The depictions of domestic violence are really hard to read about. There was a, an animal abuse scene as well, which didn't sit well with me so i just overall am less than thrilled like i said yesterday but the good thing is i'm almost done with it and i can finally just like close that one also i thought a little bit more about that sherry lupina sherry lupina i thought about that book the couple next door again and i'm gonna give it two stars instead of three not that, that really matters but i thought i'd update you guys because i'm like disappointed with the last two thrillers that i've read so that kind of sucks but it's okay because I'm going to read more Strange Grace tonight and I think I want to start something else as well. I think I'm going to start one of the thriller audiobooks that I have, maybe by a different author. I just think I need a non-domestic thriller at the moment. These ones seem to be a little bit more domestic and like deal with stuff that could happen in real life. I want some like unbelievable shit, you know? So I'm thinking of maybe picking up The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager tonight. That could be good. And then I think I might also start Not Even Bones by Rebecca Schaefer because I just, I need some fantasy. I need something fresh and new and exciting because I'm bored. I'm bored of these domestic thrillers and these boring white people. So hopefully this is going to be just like a chill and calm Friday night. I kind of want to get some cleaning done around the house so that like I can just chill with you guys for the next two days but that's pretty much my plans for tonight i don't have anything too crazy planned so oh hello i'm terrible at vlogging i don't know what time it is i should probably figure out what time it is i think it is it's now 11 o'clock i've been facetiming for two hours <laughs> that was fun i had a good time and i actually have read since i last talked to you i did start the last time i lied by rayleigh sager and i'm like 40 percent into it and I'm liking it. It's definitely more on my alley than the past two thrillers that I've read, so I'm happy about that. It's going good. I don't really know how to describe it except for these four girls disappeared from a summer camp and one girl who like was in the same cabin as them didn't disappear and she wants to know what happened and she gets invited back to the camp years later to be an art teacher and she's kind of I think about to get asked to explore what happened or something I don't know I'm intrigued so far there's been some kind of weird things afoot that's kept me intrigued like there's not a lot of movement in the plot yet but I'm engrossed enough to continue to listen to it so not upset about it like it's pretty good I don't think it's gonna like change my life or anything but I'm enjoying listening to it and um yeah i facetimed after that and here we are it's nighttime and i have done pretty much <coughs> no vlogging today i did say that i wasn't gonna make promises but i really did think that i was going to have more content today but tomorrow and sunday what you doing I prefer if you didn't. Basically my plan for Saturday and Sunday though is to do a lot more things. I'm planning on going to either Barnes & Noble or Half Price Books because I want to kind of like peruse the selections. I want some new books. I don't know, do I need new books? No. Do I want new books? Yes. So I thought we could do that and I think I'm gonna get lunch and I'm just gonna like have fun tomorrow and you guys can come with me uh, for that and I'm gonna be trying to finish the last time I lied. I'm going to try to read all of the Whisper Man as well tomorrow i'm gonna try to get almost all the way down the strange grace like i have plans for saturday and sunday it's gonna be a good time and hopefully i can make things more aesthetic because i know this week has not been very pretty and i'm sorry for that i maybe i'm just like feeling it because the people that i've been watching lately have had such aesthetic vlogs but i need some sort of like aesthetics because it's been rough lately i think i'm gonna go chill with this dummy and my other dummy and I'll get back to you guys in the morning. I don't want to stay up too late tonight because I want to be like fresh for all day vlogging tomorrow. Oh, I literally forgot. I never told you guys what I rated. I let you go. Hmm. Because I finished that and then immediately went into the Riley Saker. So I ended up giving I let you go two stars. I was just not a big fan of it. Even though I understood what it was trying to do, I didn't 
I just didn't like the execution of the book. I think there are better books about domestic violence because essentially that's what this is and I think I was a little misled in thinking that this was a thriller. I mean I guess you could categorize it as a mystery but I didn't really feel like there was anything too mysterious going on and the characters were pretty flat. The It was told from two points of view. The detective, he never got any better or more exciting. I guess he kind of became less of a shitty father but he had a whole plot line with his son that was never resolved and then the main character Jenna, I just didn't really give a shit. Like I felt terrible for her and the things that she had to deal with but I just... I don't know at the end of the day I just didn't give a shit so I'm sad because I know other people like this book but it just wasn't for me and that's okay and I'm I'm liking this experience because even though I've just liked a couple of the books that I've read I think it is helping me figure out what I like and don't like about thrillers and is helping me figure out which ones I probably should and shouldn't pick up so you know you win some you lose some it's okay but um yeah that's it that's literally it for tonight i'm sorry this was not more exciting but i really do love you guys and i would love to know what you have read this week that you have enjoyed um but yeah that's it i'll talk to you guys tomorrow